Bwana asifiwe. Let's appreciate the Lord. This morning, I want us to open the, the scripture in the book of Luke, chapter number one. Let's open our Bibles in the, the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter number one. And we begin from verse 5. Amen. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah. Zechariah. Zechariah means Yahweh remembers. Say Yahweh remembers. Of the cause of Abijah and his wife, was of the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Elizabeth in Hebrew means El Shemba, God's satisfaction. Buana Sifiwe, God's satisfaction. And they were both righteous before God, walking all the commandments. And the ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. Those were the characteristics of those elderly ministers of God. Righteous people before God. God loves righteousness. Walking all commandments, observing that the Lord requires them to do. And the ordinances of the Lord. And they were blameless before God. And the Bible says, verse 7, And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren. And they both were now well stricken in years. That means they were very old. But they had an issue. They didn't have a child. They were ministers of the gospel. They were the one that people relied on. To receive their prayers. And present it. Before God. But yet. They had an issue. They didn't have children. And sometimes the people. is a sieve. The, their God had forsaken them. Mugwao ni kama kwa wegine alikuwa amewasahau. Kube inaweza kana mtu abaye anatebea pamoja na mungu miaka mingi naonekane kwamba anashida anajambo anapitia katika jambo fulani na ni kama machoni mawatu Ame hasaurika. Mana inaonekana kwa ba pegine watu pegine wanaomba. Lakini kama maobi yao haijibiwi. Na umutumishu wa mungu waliishi katika hekalo. Miaka mingi. Lakini kulikuwa na shida dani ya nyuba yake. Barrenness is not a good thing. And uh, Elizabeth El Shiba God's satisfaction ni kama amepimwa na amekubalika bele ya Bwana lakini mbali ana mimba kama yule mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo alijaribu kuomba but uh, it came to pass that while he executed the priest Office before God in order of his cause. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense. And when he went into the temple of the Lord, and the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense, and you know when the high priest were to enter in the holy of the holies, 
the congregation of Shino Luis are gathered. In this particular time, it looked like Maobi yame, yame zidi. Na mtumishi wa mungu amekawia, amekaa. Na watu wakasupuka. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And Sakaria saw him, he was troubled, and a fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Sakaria, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at this. For this is great in the sight of the Lord, and he shall not drink wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, for even from his mother's whoop. So when the people were wondering, what was happening to Sakaria? Ikafika wakati wake. Wakutebelewa na buwana. Dina la buwana libadikive. Amen. Hallelujah. Mungu akashuka gafla. Na akalete ujube. Ujube wakutia moyo. Kwa mtumishi ambaye waliishi miaka mingi. Na talajio. Na machoni pao. Ni kama mungu amewasahao. Ni kama maobesi yao. Imegonga mwamba. Kini mungu waka mtokea. Waka mwambia. Usisubuke. Muke wako hata kama ni mze. Atapata. Kichana. Na huyo hata kuwa kichana wakawaida. Atakuwa na B. Atakuwa mtumishi. Atakuwa na guvu nyingi. For the spirit of, the, of, of God will be and the power of Elijah shall be upon him to turn the children of Israel and, uh, and uh, to the fathers and the fathers giving them wisdom to the just and to make a people prepared for the law. Amugu akasema mustali wa ichirini akasema hivi. Mustali wa ichirini. And behold thou shalt be dumb. And not be able to speak. Until the day these things shall be performed. Because thou believest not my words. We shall be filled in their season. Uyu mutumishu wabwana Zakaria kwa mana alikawia mpaka akasoya shida. Akasoya majaribu. Lakini akajitia moyo tu. Mana mabohaya inakuwa kama desturi katika maisha yake. Inakuwa ni custom and tradition na yeye mtumishi wa Mungu ako ndani ya nyumba na ni wakati wake wa kuingia katika hekalo na kuingia ndani patakatifu patakatifu akatoe zak na akatoa dhabihu kwa ajili ya maisha yake na kwa ajili ya Israeli na Biblia inasema ikawa ni kawaida yeye ni priest ni kohani kupe mtu wa Mungu Anaisa ishi dani ya bwana unajua sisi ni makuhani wote kupe kuna mtu aliye na uhusiano Mungu anampenda anamtumikia na Mungu anatoa uchuhuda wake kwamba mtu huyu ni mtakatifu he is premis na Biblia inasema huyu mtu anatebea na utebesi wake sio wa kawaida Anatepea katika kanuni zake bwana. 
Lakini Biblia inasema kulikuwa na changa ndani ya nyumba ya mtumishi inawezekana hata asubuhi hii ya leo. Ninaposugumu sana neno hii na wale ambao natazama kwa runinga inawezekana wenu mtu wa Mungu na umeishi ndani ya wokofu, umeishi ndani ya kanisa na ndani ya maisha yako hakuna shaka. Lakini kuna wesekano, kunaweza kuwa na shida, kunaweza kuwa na janga, kunaweza kuwa na jambo. Biblia inasema huyu mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa na mke abaye ni Balen. Abia mtu Balen. Ya. Yeah. Katika utamaduni nyingi si jambo ambayo inapedesa Yabo ya baina subua watu. Lakini na shukulu mungu kwa huu mtumishi. Mana aliedelea. Bibi nasema alikutwa na mungu katika maopesi. Jina labwana alibalikiwe. Aleluya. Abia mtu maopesi. Aleluya. Kama huko na shida edelea na maopesi yako. Abia mtu edelea na maopesi. E, kama huko katika shida. Usijale we edelea na maopesi. Na usijali vile watu wanaongea endelea na maopesi inawezekana huyu ndugu wetu mtumishi wa Bwana watu waliongea mengi lakini siku moja Bwana akatumana sema Bwana atumane kwa maisha yangu hata leo katika jina la Yesu lift up your hands say Lord si utumane kwa ajili ya maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu mambo abai na nifinya wakati wake ufike wakati wa utebeleo katika jina la Yesu si Mungu aharakishe siku yako ya utebeleo siku ya kutebelewa na Bwana si karibie sana katika jina la Yesu si karibie sana siku ya utebeleo ambaye unangojea paka kama ule mtumishi wa Mungu akaseeka lakini alisonga bali give somebody a high five mwambie songa na maombezi give them a high five in the name of Jesus, Bwana alisema hii, maobi yako, fear not sakalia. For, your, for thy prayer, say for thy prayer, is hard. Hallelujah. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Jamani ninataka kusema asubuhi ya leo, tunaye Mungu ambaye anasikia maobesi. Nasema tunaye Mungu ambaye anasikia maobesi. Nasema tuna Mungu ambaye anasikia maopesi. Haleluya. Maana watu wengi wanashangaa. Kwa nini maopesi yetu inaonekana kama imegonga mwamba? Nataka ukuambie hakuna dustbin ya maopesi. Pigia Yesu makobi. Hakuna dustbin. Niguo. Niamini. Nasema hakuna dustbin. Abia mtu hakuna dustbin. Ya maopesi katika jina la Yesu. Kama kulikuwa na dustbin ya maopesi, huyu msee sakalia na mke wake Elizabeth, hawagi atabelewa na Bwana. Maana maobi yao ilikuwa ya miaka hata pengine walisahau kuomba tena kupata mtoto sababu ameomba miaka mingi na Mungu ni kama amekimia lakini atao kuambia Mungu bado kimia katika jina la Yesu. Maana hakuna hakuna maopesi ambaye inatupwa mbele ya Bwana. Big Yesu Makovi Jameni. Ye hole la Jesu lo heta modo kweta. Piga Makovi kama mtu anataka. Ana Biblia inasema hakuna maobi ambaye inaenda kwa dustbin. Kulingana na ufunuo mlango wa nane. sikia. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 8 verse 3. And another angel came, stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should over it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. Praise the name of the Lord. And the smoke of the incense 
which came with the prayers of the saint ascended up before God of all the out of the angel's heart. Maombi yako. Inaweza onekana kama imechukua munda. Na hapa tunaona picha ya maombi. Inatebea ni kama ufani. It's like the smoke of incense. Na ukitoa hiyo picha ni kama ile smoke unaona ikipigwa na upepo. Ni kama inakatika kwa munda na mara inarudi tena. Ina 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 jiuga tena. That is how prayers are. Na kila maobesi like incense when they are being burnt inatoa ile mochi manukato ambayo inakubalika mbele ya Bwana na inapaa kidogo pole pole hai song is wakati mwingine inachukua munda na inapaa kidogo kuelekea biguni na kama vile ilivyo wakati smoke inapigwa na kaupepo Upepo hawezi ukamaliza smoke maana utapita na mara moja ule smoke inakutana mara ingine tena katika jina la Yesu kwa munda maobesi yako inayesaonekana ni kama imesaulika lakini nataka kukuambia asubuhi ya leo kama vile ufani ambao unashoma una unaelekea una, una biguni hivyo divyo that's how is the picture of our prayers when they are offered by people who are trusting and people who are believing God give Jesus a mighty praise I tell you this morning in the name of Jesus and I agree with the word of the Lord according to the book of Revelation that our brother John was given there are angels in heaven. Say angels in heaven. Ah, sisiki vile sisiki. Some of the angels in heaven. They are given specific law by God. And their law are so specific. The Bible says according to the revelation about to mesoma. Wamepewa balls. Sema wamepewa balls. Inaitwa nini? Wamepewa bakuli sema biguni kuna malaika. Ambao wamepewa bakuli. Na kasi yao kule biguni ni kukojea maobi ya wateule. Pigia Yesu makobi hawana kasi ingine. Hawana kasi ingine. Malaika wengi biguni wana bakuli wakigochea maobesi ya wateule na kasi yao ni kupokea maobesi yako kisha kwenda mbele ya Bwana katika kiti ya enzi na kukabidhi maobi yako kwa Bwana kwa jina la Yesu kwa niaba yako shangilia Yesu na makovi haleluya it is a matter how long it takes for your prayers to, ahead, to ascend to heaven. But one day, your prayer will ascend before God and your prayers will be captured. Hakuna maopesi ya yote yako itapotea. Mana malaika wala igojea namba kuli katika jina la yeso ena wala ipokea na kupeleka bele ya buwana kwa niyaba yako shangili ya buwana yesu na makovi. Hey! Shamene. Yeah. Keep the age of species. Tell someone to keep the age of species. Keep the age of species in heaven. Keep praying. Tell someone to keep praying. Keep praying. Tell someone to keep praying. Ah, sisi ki jamene. Ah, gusa mtu babie. Keep praying. Keep the age of species. Keep praying. Keep the age of species. Mana kasi yao ni kupokea maobesi ya wateule na kuipeleka bele ya buwana katika jina la esu. Asubu ya leo sijui ni maobigafi himepokea wa bele ya buwana. Sijui laini hiko wapi lakini kitu ni mina jua maobi yangu na maobi yako haitapotea. There is an angel. 
Nasema there is an angel. Ah, I wish I was the one who was being preached to. Nasema there was an angel assigned for your prayers, waiting for your prayers in heaven because of you. I'll make a solution to keep the angel busy in the name of Jesus by keeping on praying. Tell someone to keep on praying. I stop talking. Keep on praying. Tell someone stop talking. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know, Sammy said in the book of Psalms 65, God is faithful. Praise the name of the Lord. I give him all the praise. God said in the word, verse 2, O thou that hearest prayer and to thee shall all the flesh come. There is a God who hears prayer. Mm. There is a God who hears prayer. Be confident of the prayers that I've been making. There is a God who is seated on the throne and he hears prayer. Give him a praise this morning. Yes. Tunai mungu ambaye anasikia maombi. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu. Haijali munda ambaye imechukua hopi yako ijipiwe. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Ninatagasa asubuhi ya leo kwamba tunaye Mungu aliye mwaminifu katika jina la Yesu. Na ninajirudia tena kusema tunaye Mungu biguni ambaye ni mwaminifu na ambaye anasikia na anajibu maombi ya wataule katika jina la Yesu. Apokee siba asubuhi ya leo. Maana yeye ni mwaminifu. Yeye anangoja maombi ya wataule. And I go to my Now, and I just a bully. The Adina in and I'm still coming at the The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto the cry. His ears, his ears are upon. And to their cry. Now, you know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 59, verse 1. Maskio ya buana is not hard. Yeah? It's not hard. Yani, haina ile vitu. Maskio ya buana badu sibwa. Mungu wetu yu hai. Maskio ya ke badu sibwa. Anaskia. Nasio kusikia peke yake. Lakini anajipu. Jina laka libarikiwe. The righteous cry verse 17. And the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. Wakati duguetu Zakaria alishi siku nyingi mwana kamteberea Bwana alipo mtebelea. Gamambia maopi yako. Mungu amesikia maopi. Na sio kusikia peke yake. Amejibu. Maopi. Na utapata. Mutoto jina lake ataitwa Yohana. Mana ya Yohana. Nikusema, the Lord is gracious. Abiyamu to the Lord is gracious. That is the meaning of the word John. The Lord is gracious. Even at an old age, the Lord is gracious. He looked at him 
A man who was stricken in years. A man like Abraham. I, I compare him like Abraham. Stricken and his wife. Elizabeth says she was stricken in years. But when the Lord became merciful and gracious to him and his wife, nothing will remit God performing what you requested. Doesn't matter how long it has taken. May God be gracious to you over every request, every prayer that you have made. May God be gracious to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. That's my declaration. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the grace of God, his masses only, let God be gracious over every prayer, over your situation. In the name of Jesus, hakuna ukoposi mwingine, umejaribu hapa na pale, lakini neema ya Bwana ikushuka juu yako, ipoke. Neema hiyo sasa ikufanyie kasi katika jina la Yesu, ikutoe katika shima uharibivu, hiyo ndoa ya ibo. In the name of Jesus, when the grace is released, he turns around. An old man like Abraham, by the grace of God, not by might or power, but the grace of God gives us access to the beloved. Bible says in the book of Hebrew, we can access heaviness because of the grace through the blood of Jesus. The blood releases Son of the living God. Jesus releases the grace by the blood. It gives us a highway to heaven. And prayer takes us, us to heaven by the grace of God. This morning you can knock in the state house of heaven. The grace of God can take you to the doors of heaven. In the name of Jesus, the grace of God. In Isa Kupa Suria Ejia, now Sumame Bere, Yautukuvu Apuana, Katika Jina Esu, Nanema Yake in Apachiriwa, Uta Pokea, Wakati Wako, Nasiku Yako, Yakuteberewa, Katika Jina Esu, Pia Esu Makobi Jamene.